Well, 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 look what we have here. A 3x3 three three nether portal in beta Minecraft. Now this, for those who aren't aware, is something you are not normally able to do in beta Minecraft, but our good friend Deadly Dirt Block was able to do it. Um, as you can see here, we've had two people independently find it. Cassis also found it, um, you know, in the process while Deadly was, uh, was about to build this. But yeah, Deadly found this uh, a while back. He told us about it a while back. And uh, yeah, we planned on making it the sort of focal point of this uh, of this train station at some point. Um, but yeah, it's sort of been commemorated, which is really cool. Um, on the back to beta server, this is a huge achievement. Congrats to to uh, the Deadly Dirt Block. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to um, his channel. Uh, he has like a private like his private unlisted videos, but uh, yeah, of him building this. So yeah. Super cool. We've got a very unique, uh, unique nether portal, and it really finishes off this uh, the interior that we built last episode of the uh, of the train station. Now, something else that we've done in between episodes, which I can show you, uh, I've got Optifine, which has some special sort of things about it. Um, Brian and I went through and we changed all of the furnaces to lit furnaces. Um, that's something you can do in beta as well, is create sort of forever burning lit furnaces. And we put them in the floor and yeah, it just lights up the whole kind of build, which is really cool at night. Um, yeah, this place is looking really cool at night. So yes, a couple of bits of progress um, have been made in the train station. Not sure what this redstone torch is doing here. Alright, but back at our base now, I have actually started making progress on a train station that is eventually going to be able to connect up my base here to the uh, the train station we've been working on in the previous episodes. So, yeah, um, this design is roughly, very loosely based on a train station in real life called Aubrey Train Station. It's, uh, it's in New South Wales in Australia, and uh, yeah, it's like a very old historic uh, train station which is really cool and yeah I'm kind of basing basing that a little bit on this because I think it kind of suits the vibe that um, that is my desert area um, you know the sandstone and the brick and plus I want to use a brick a bit more so yeah this is kind of what I've got so far um, in the actual reference images I have the Aubrey train station it goes out quite a bit but I'm not sure I want to do that I'm going to build up this middle section first maybe make it kind of a bit of a yeah towering build and then we'll see if we need to thicken it up a little bit um yeah it's got some pretty interesting design features i've got these uh these netherrack walls in here as well i think i obviously need to uh um add a bit of a pathway in front of the sand here um but yeah for the most part it's kind of an interesting design that i quite like and i'm gonna keep working at it and show you some progress updates as it comes along so yeah let's keep going okay so i'm not gonna lie i was sick over the past few days so i wasn't able to record but i have made some pretty substantial progress as you can kind of see in this area here now there's kind of a bit to get through but i'll uh, i'll kind of try and show everything to you guys um first of all we've got um sort of the top section or top layer i guess built up a bit more on this uh train station here i had to remove a bit of a mountain here and flatten this out um to to have it kind of look good um, and yeah, on the inside we've got these floating water columns. We use invisible stairs to kind of hold back the water, which is cool. I think this is cool because it kind of replaces like stairs, um, in a way. So yeah, you've got kind of columns to get up to the second layer. I'm thinking of having my nether portal in here when we eventually get back to, uh, allowing the nether again. Got some good views out here. But yeah, obviously this isn't done. We've still got to do this top section here. And I also, I said in the last clip or whatever that um, I wasn't going to expand up this way. I think I might expand up this way. Um, that way I can have room for a few more rails. Um, but as you can see, I do already have one rail in place. This finally connects our base to the uh, the spawn train station, which is cool. Um, I've, been try I've been wanting to have that for so long. So yeah, now we finally have that, which is cool. But it also connects to Captain Cat. So if you guys remember, um, Captain Cat was one of the first people to add his railway to the uh, train station. Um, and it used to go underground, right underneath my base, and then up out there, as you can see, um, which was a bit annoying as I started expanding down. I had to move it a couple of times, and uh, yeah, I, th I think it's just cooler to have it above ground. So I spent ages, this is a ton of resources and a ton of work, I spent ages building his whole railway 
um, out this way and it connects up to his railway behind that hill over there. Um, so now this part is a bit unused. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm glad that that's all done. Um, but because my railway and Captain Cat's railway are so close, I thought it would only make sense for them to really intersect. Um, I haven't done the redstone to make that work, but I think we'll do that, um, we'll do that after, uh, well, we'll do that in a minute. But I'll show you this railway, because there's also something interesting at the end of this railway, which I want to talk about. Um, as you can see, there's the, uh, that's the way to Captain Katz. And see it goes out that way. Now this end section here is something I want to talk about when we get there. But I will show you what it looks like to ride. And here we go. Now we're in the train station, which is really cool. Now Ryan and I, we spent a bit of time building this up and making this look good. I'll show you the clips of uh, how that sort of all came about. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is all destroyed and ruined because originally Captain Cat's rail came into that top section there. Um, and we didn't... We decided to change our mind. Originally, when this uh, when this train station was being built, um, we thought it would be cool to have rails coming out of these top portions and out of the bottom portions that went underground sort of thing. But plans changed. We eventually changed our minds on that. And yeah, now this has a no entry sign. We wanted to tear down this whole thing um, and yeah, sort of get rid of that rail um, and have it come through the bottom instead. But there's a bit of a funny story on how this section of rail, which was intended to be fully torn down, ended up being just this ruined sort of section of rail. And I'll play those clips right now, because they're pretty funny. Okay. Right. <laughs> I just think it'd be funny watching me, like, ride the rail and then boom! Yeah. Okay. I'll probably place two... I probably, I'll probably use two TNT, because I don't really want to blow up the mm -hmm. hole rail <laughs> like uh, i don't want to i don't want yeah <laughs> i don't want to blow other things up i don't want to blow up the land around it you know yeah, uh, yeah that's bad. so one so in between and, and i don't want to blow up like the glowstone all the powered rails so actually if i put it in the middle here we could have one pretty good one there because i reckon i'll have it dip down from this one yeah one okay. and then two there oh jeez that sound okay. was awful how long does tnt <laughs> yeah. take to blow up like three seconds, four seconds? Three, three, four seconds, I think. Yeah. Fuck it, the timing's gonna be terrible, but... Yeah, that's the way it is. Okay, so one... There'll be one in here. Uh, Well, we can have... We probably can kind of have two attempts at this, right? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we do one here... Uh, This one's pretty close, but I think we can do it. <laughs> okay, we'll do one... One there, and then one there. Okay. Uh, let me put that rail back. I don't know how Do much... I start? I'll start all the way at your base, I guess. All the way at my base? Jeez. Okay, so I'm the one who has to time it. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you when I'm... You don't have to I'll start all the way at my base. Are you, you ready? Can, you can start... I mean, I'm not really... No, I don't want to fuck up and not get in the minecart, because <laughs> I, I do that a lot. That is fair. Um. Okay, I'm not ready. Uh. Okay. One TNT there, one TNT there. Yeah, okay, okay. All right. Okay, you ready? Just about. All oh, right, did I flick I... the lever? Oh my god, I nailed that straight away. All right, you flicked it. Okay. <laughs> I have yeah, no idea how to. I have no idea how to time this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea how to time this. Oh, oh I see what you. What a lovely ride. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely ride. Okay. Uh. All right. I reckon about five, four, three, two. Uh... Okay. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I was just slightly too late, huh? But yeah. it still worked. I mean, it was almost perfect. Hey, you I know what? <laughs> you know what? That actually looks really cool. How that's exploded. <laughs> really? I gotta it check it out. Kind of looks. It looks <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> It's like, like the, the Boston broken. bombings all over again. Oh yeah, for real. Oh, that does look cool. It Keep looks, it like that. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's like when you see an old rail station that's been taken down. Yeah, by TNT. It's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like real life. Yeah. Just <laughs> like real life. I like it. All right, I'm gonna collect some of these resources, I guess. So, so like how survive. how long how long do you reckon it did it did I literally just picked it up. Um, <laughs> how how long do you reckon you were like in contact with the TNT before? 
it exploded. Probably not long. It was like a second. Yeah, I thought I timed it pretty well, but yeah, I saw you. I did yeah, see you was, just stop. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. How does it look from like a that distance? Is, I do quite like that. Oh, it looks really cool. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Accidental <laughs> genius. <laughs> Accidental genius. I like that it's, it's like it almost frames Greffin now. <laughs> like it, it yeah. draws your eyes to Greffin a bit. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, that, I like that. Do you reckon we should bl still blow up that other part? I reckon we should. It'd be cool to have, like, it, it's almost like the one pillar standing, you know? You know oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying? That would be really cool. Like, you, you, you get what I'm saying? That. Yeah, yeah, just like one pillar on its own. Because like, I'm not connected to either of the sides. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'll be cool. Oh, yeah, let's do that. All right, do you want to try and ride the rail again? <laughs> That's right. We'll do a second attempt. <laughs> All right, round two, I'm ready. Okay. I have... I flicked the lever. Alright. Oh, it's going night time. <laughs> oh. What okay, a lovely yeah. ride. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, so loud. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. I lived. That was perfect, Aragon. <laughs> that was so good. How did you live? How did you live? What? Damn. Did you? Yeah, that was how pretty close? Much perfect. I feel like that was pretty perfect. I'm on two and a half hearts. Nice. Hell yeah. yeah. Wow. I think I'm going to get rid of these trees down here, so. Yeah, yeah. Blow them up. <laughs> nice. Honestly, I feel like pretty surprised how uh, how close I was to, to getting you. Yeah, that was almost dead on. Yeah. Nice. How does that nice. look? How does wow. that look now with that destruction? Does that look cool? Um. Or does it look it looks like there's a little bit too much left on this side. I thought that might look cool. That's kind of why I, I placed it a little closer to that side. Ah, uh, okay. If it doesn't look, yeah, no, if it doesn't it, look cool, it we, could, right. we could probably add another TNT. Oh, yeah. It does look a little bit janky. Oh, you're putting, like, somewhere... Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, my <laughs> rail's literally going to come straight down through that. Oh, shit. Yeah, good point. <laughs> I think I might shave some of that back, but I'll probably make the rail first and then shave it back. I like that. Mm -hmm. Accident, happy accident right there. Happy yeah, accident. Happy little accident. I do need to destroy yeah, like some of this. Yeah, two or three blocks in, maybe. Yeah, I do need to destroy some of this terraining, um, and I think I'll rebuild it a little bit as well. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you can help me with that because you're probably better at it than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Valid reaction. That's so fair enough. Oh, that's funny. Well, I guess I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do the cobblestone first. That's what I did last time, and that worked. Cobblestone first, so that I can get the general idea of what it, what it needs to look like. Could have vines coming yeah, off it. It'd be kind of cool, actually, if it was like all busted. Like, as if it's kind of collapsed down, you know? Oh shit! Yeah, that would be yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. sick, actually. Oh damn! Yeah, that's a good idea. Hell that yeah! That's a good idea. That way, I don't have to do we as only much. Just think of that. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to do as much work, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That looks a if little. It looks like it's collapsed. Is that Is that too symmetrical, or should I make it like a bit weirder or something? Maybe a little bit weirder. Actually, I should probably just a little bit. I'm gonna start it. Start like it. Back. Or start it already inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Start it slightly backwards. So as you guys saw, we kind of had a bit of a mess around. Originally, we were going to get rid of this whole kind of rail up to this point. Um, but Ryan sort of was out of nowhere, just like, I want to get blown up by the TNT as I ride into it with a rail. And then, yeah, we sort of blew it up a couple of times, decided this looked cooler and worked with it. And I'm really glad we did because this looks really cool. So we sort of made it so that it, like it's almost like collapsed and fallen and the rail kind of now comes down underground. Um, and there's like kind of some detailing and stuff in here and it made it it made it kind of easier in a way because This detailing here was a bit too low and there was like holes in the in the walls and stuff But it actually now makes sense now that we made the entrance um, Sort of a cave so yeah, you come down here and you can see all the detailing in here Which is all nice. It's kind of like a cave even some lava down there um, And yeah some natural lighting and stuff So yeah, this looks really cool and and I think it it Really, considering how hard this section was going to be to do, I think we actually did maybe the best possible thing to make this work, which is really cool. 
Um, but yeah, speaking of the lava back here, there's actually a little funny clip that I'd like to show you guys when Ryan was putting that in because, uh, yeah, things almost went very wrong. Uh, oh, I need to break the glass. Is there any glass in that chest? Oh yeah, the gravel. Oh shit, shit's on fire, oh shit's on fire. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. How oh, bad. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, that's oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't let it catch fire. Oh, don't tell me it's on the building. Oh no. Don't tell me it's gonna burn it down. I'm not collecting this spruce. Don't tell me. I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, it's on that. Okay, thank God. Okay. Okay, oh, that's God. fine. I- oh, I was concerned. God. The way you were laughing, I thought it was on the- on the freaking on the this. Oh my God. That's fine. If it that's burning- been. If that's, that's burning you know down, what? I don't care. That's fine. That's whatever. <laughs> oh my God. I thought it was gonna catch fire to the whole freaking thing. You made me panic. Oh God. <laughs> I, and I caught myself I on I, fire. Oh my I'm on two God. hearts. <laughs> You're Captain a menace. Cat's very away got burnt down. You're a menace. Irony. Um, oh, fuck. All right, well. I do have some spruce left back at my place if you want to grab some just to fix that up because I think it would look better, like, with the yeah, full Yeah, yeah, I'll fix that up in a sec. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was I grabbing okay, glass? instead of... Instead, I'll use um, slabs instead. God damn it, I'm all the way down to two hearts again. I literally just died. <laughs> I can't believe it spread all the way up to there. Yeah, what the what hell? The fuck? It's still going. <laughs> oh my god. It's still going. Imagine One, if we two, like burnt Pepper's three, house down, we burnt the fucking station. Okay, it is, it is continuing to spread, which is annoying. Oh my god. Stop. Okay, it stopped. Okay, cool. The fire's insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, what can you do? <laughs> what can what can you do? Actually, can I just no, say, if this fire if this <laughs> catches on been. fire, we're gone. We're done. Like we, there's nothing we can do, <laughs> and the whole thing is yeah. going down. Everything's made of flammable stuff. Like there's there's nothing we can do. <laughs> I would be I would At be least it would have been recorded. I would be livid. Yeah. Of course, it started raining as I wanted to record this last section. Um, anyways, the last thing I want to do in this video is I want to have some redstone compatibility with the railway here. So, right now I just have it going straight connection from my place to spawn through here. But what we really need is uh, a connection uh, to Captain Cat's base as well. So I want to make it so that from my place I can choose to either go to spawn or Captain Cat's. And from spawn I can choose to go to mine or Captain Cat's sort of thing. Um, so, the way the rail is right now, um, I will demonstrate. I have a minecart here. If I'm riding from my base to spawn, this will work. As you can see, it pops over and just continues on to spawn like that. Now, if I'm going from spawn back and I want to go back to mine, if I have it like this, it's going to turn and it's going to go to Captain Cat's. So, if I, if I hit this, you'll see. It's going to turn and go to Captain Cat, so that's not going to work. We can't just have it the same way um, and, you know, not be able to include Captain Cat, I guess, in his in his own rail, you know. Um, so we need to have it switch like that when we're at spawn and we want to get to mine. Um, so now that it's switched, you'll see it can pop through and come to mine. But then there's obviously a problem that now it needs to switch again if I want to get from my base back to spawn. So that's the problem. We need to make it so that we can switch it um, at either end whenever we want. Now it's a little easier said than done, but I'm in a redstone testing world right now and I've got a little contraption that does uh, does in fact do the job using some model, sta model stable circuits. Now this is obviously some ugly redstone. This was sort of the first thing I kind of threw together that worked. Um, so I'll probably pretty it up on the server, kind of. So basically how it works is there's a monostable circuit, which is this thing right here, um, which basically allows a really short, quick pulse to hit this uh, piston, which will push this block up and have it suspended and then be able to pull it down again um, after a second pulse. So you'll see here, really short pulse, pushes it up, um, leaves this block floating, and now this is able to pass through. And then if we do another one, it pulls it down and turns it off like that. So... Basically what that allows me to do is change this at either end, which is, um, yeah, ideal. So let's say I want to go to my base, as you can see the, the light is turned off, so I'm going to have to flick this switch. And you can see the rail change there, 
and then we can write across and it'll, it's all fine and dandy and I do whatever I want in my base and then when I want to go back to spawn obviously now this rail is turned here and I need to turn it back and you can see by the indicator spawn is off cats is on so I'm gonna have to flick the button again boom like that rail changes and then I can go back again so yeah pretty ugly redstone but um, it does do the job and I think it's gonna just work should work perfectly on the server Alright, and after no short amount of time, we have completed all of the redstone compatibility with this rail, which means it is fully done, fully operational, aesthetics and all, um, it's all done, which is really cool. So yeah, let me show you how this works, it's already set to spawn, um, so I guess I'll hop in, and I'll go on my way. And then here we are on the other end. Very good. Now, I, uh, it's a shame you can't place uh, buttons on top of blocks in, uh, in beta because I wanted to have uh, a button here instead of a lever because some people accidentally leave this on and then you get sent back. But, I don't know, I didn't want this, uh, this area here to be too obscured. Uh, but yeah, here we are on the other side. Now we can actually see it in action. I actually quite like how this panel turned out, by the way. Um, so yeah, track switch has a visual delay, which is this, the visual has a delay, my base, Captain Cat's base. So right now you can tell it's on Captain Cat's, I want to switch it to mine, I press the button, it takes a second, there we go, and it switches. So the reason there's such a big delay is because I made it so that there's only uh, one monostable circuit uh, in the whole thing, uh, rather than in my little demonstration there were two, um, which if I had one that was like close by, it could make it work, but I don't know, I, I ended up simplifying it and making it just the one. And I think the delay is kind of cool, uh, especially if uh, if you kind of know what it looks like. Uh, I'll give you a little peek behind the curtain, I guess. Um, here I've just got like two long lines of redstone basically that go all the way to the uh, to the the middle part of the, the circuit where the rail is. Um, to change and it's really cool to watch. Um, maybe I'll I'll do a quick demonstration Okay, so I've got the camera account in the position I was just in and I'm gonna press the button You can see the line shoot down and then race back. I absolutely love that so Like having seen this and then like having the delay like I don't know Whenever I see whenever I press this button and I and I see the delay like, or I have to deal with the delay, like, I see that in my head, so, you know, it's kind of cool, so I'll do it one more time. Like, I love that, I think that's really cool, so, I don't mind the delay just because of that. So, yeah, this project of mine is officially over, my railway to spawn is officially done, which is awesome to say, because I've been working, well, well wanting to do this, for ages and I've been working on it for days and yeah I'm really satisfied with how it's all turned out especially um, you know being able to connect cat up as well like it's it's very satisfying oh I forgot to turn the <laughs> I forgot to turn the rail although I, I would like to go down cats uh, cats rail one day uh, today is not that day it's quite a long rail but um, actually it would be cool to see what my base looks like from there but maybe some other time I can't believe I forgot to change it yeah, see, that's already going to the spawn train station. Normally, I'd have to switch that, but, uh, yeah. There is a little bit of exposed redstone back here, which I don't mind, actually. It's kind of satisfying. It's kind of cool. I, I, I don't mind exposed redstone sometimes, and, uh, it's a little compact, which is kind of cool. And you can kind of see it working. Um, I just didn't want to go outside of this little box here. I, I, this, uh, is a bit annoying. I tried to really keep it in this, like, 3x3 three three area. Um, but yeah, I had to go out just slightly, and I think there might in future be another one of these boards here in any way if I decide to add more rails, so, um, yeah, I'm not, not, not upset about it. So I guess there is one more thing I have to do, which is complete the train station, but I think that's gonna have to wait until another video, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, let me know what you think of the rail, because I really like it, and I'm uh, really happy that it's in place now, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!